What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and welcome back to another The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be going over the brand new version 1.1.1 update for the game. Because as you can see here, I'm at the update via the internet screen on your Nintendo Switch. I'm going to click via the internet, and we're going to see here that there is indeed an update for the game. Now, the update doesn't change much for the game as of right now of what we're seeing online what people are discovering just like that i got my game updated i'm gonna update because i have not been actually using the item duplication glitch that a lot of i've seen a lot of people who are actually using and stuff like that online which is perfectly fine this is a single player experience you're not online you're not hurting anybody or corrupting anybody else's save data or whatnot you know what i'm saying this is just a totally single player experience you could do as you wish with your save data and as you can see here with the patch notes that has been released by nintendo it says release may 18th 2023 general updates fix issue where sometimes the player could not clear main quest the closed door even if they fulfill the conditions to advance the quest obviously with this being a main quest seems like a perfect reason to update the game and get that out the way for the people that were having trouble with that it says if you already encountered this issue you'll be able to clear the quest by downloading this update several issues has been addressed to improve the gameplay experience which nintendo usually says with every update However, as you can see by the, the little notes that's also left on the bottom, it says before you update, just be mindful that patches like this may resolve in certain glitches. We will let you know when we hear anything about this. This update follows the discovery of the item duplication glitch. Now, again, this is not written by Nintendo. It's written by the article I grabbed it from. But Nintendo is probably aware of the item duplication glitch. I do think they're going to try their best to try to patch it out as quickly as possible, especially with how quickly this patch dropped as well. But from what I'm hearing in the community, people are easily able to do the item duplication glitch even after this update. So for those of you who are scared to update for whatever reason, one, you don't have to update. Just make sure your Nintendo Switch is set to not update the game and you should be perfectly fine. Also, if you do manage to update your version to 1.1.1, don't be scared. You can still do the item duplication glitch. There's been reports of multiple people still being able to do it just as fine after this update. Now, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of Nintendo potentially patching out the item duplication glitch as well as how quickly they were to fix this glitch for the main quest. I think it's pretty cool that within a week, they're, they're coming in and just patching the game and making sure that it is playable for all players. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Daddy, Gamer, Fred, the Trash. You Trash, Freddy? Your mama!